Hey everyone, it's Serica, and today I'm going to be doing a painting video. I am going to be using some Arteza products to paint these very cute, super non-evil jack-o'-lanterns along with some other Halloween themed objects. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the Arteza Premium Watercolor Palette today. This is a set of 12 awesome colors. They're very essential colors for mixing. I'm going to just use the brush that comes with the watercolor palette. So there is a tiny little water brush that you can unscrew the um, brush part off of and then you fill it up with water and you can take it with you. This little palette is super cute. It's perfect for traveling because it has the water brush and then it has the built-in palettes that you can use to mix the colors on. I'm going to leave a link to the palette and then the watercolor paper that I'm using today in the description below so you can go ahead and check out the product specifications if you're interested in learning more about them. So with any new palette, I like to create a little swatch sheet to refer back to what the colors look like, especially on the type of paper I'm using. So as you can see, the colors are very smooth. It's very easy to activate. I just used a drop of water on each little half pan using the water brush and I really enjoyed using them. My first impression was that they're very beautiful. And I'm going to be mixing my own orange and my own purple for this Halloween themed painting. So we'll see how that goes. I'm using the Arteza cold pressed watercolor paper, which has a really nice texture to it. It's very thick. And um, as the video goes on, I'll show you how that held up to the water. All right, so here I'm doing a very, very rough sketch of my objects. As you can see, my sketches are really rough, but it's just a way for me to get my ideas out there and um, kind of like play around with the shapes and whatnot. And then after I had my initial ideas down, I went ahead and did a very light outline on the watercolor paper. So I'm just using a Prismacolor sketching pencil and yeah, I'm just trying to keep it real light so that it doesn't really mess with the watercolors. All right, it's time for the fun part. It's time to start painting. So I mixed the red and yellow to create an orange, a couple different types of orange. I wanted one that was more of a true orange and then one that was more of a red orange. And I did that for the pumpkins and then for the leaves. And of course the bottom part of the candy corn, which I had to look up what section of the candy corn was which color. And then um, I just kind of started off lighter and then added more pigment as I went on. So of course with watercolors, when you want it to be more of a lighter color, you just add more water and it'll be more translucent. And then when you want to add more pigment, you just go in with less water on the brush and then you add um, more of that. So what's great about watercolor is you can really build up and get depth into your painting which is what i'm doing with the shadows and whatnot on the pumpkin so after i did the orange shades i then mixed my own very light gray for like a light warm gray for the candle and then for the bone and then for the purple i of course mixed blue and this kind of like pinkish red in order to create a very cool tone purple and I went through a lot of different shades of purple in order to get to the kind of shade that I wanted. So I'm very satisfied with that and um, yeah it was just super fun to paint it all in. And then after I was satisfied with the level of um, saturation I had with the watercolor paints, I then went in with graphite and colored pencil in order to add some outlining here and there to add some definition to my little cute Halloween objects. All right, that is it for my little painting here. I really enjoyed using these products and I really love how they turned out. So I decided to create a little sticker sheet out of these objects. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link to that below as well. And yeah, hopefully this was enjoyable. I hope you have a really great Halloween and um, 
let me know how you enjoy the spooky season. I'm all about the cute parts of it. I like candy, costumes, and autumn leaves and things, but I don't like scary movies. So I do enjoy the spooky season, but not when it gets that spooky. You know what I mean? All right, so I will go ahead and leave you to it. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy painting, happy art making, and happy journaling, my friends. Bye.